In today's video, we will be doing what some people might call dangerous or reckless. So please do not try this at home. What is the scariest thing that we've spun up on the water jet? I mean, there's a lot to choose from. Um, the saw fidget spinner. I was gonna say the alternator because that, the noise that that made was just. Yeah, the noise, but like the saw blade like actually exploded, like. <laughs> Dan was further back from the saw blade and I'm there like behind a <laughs> piece of scrap wood like feeding wood into it and it like explodes in my face like come, that's that's pretty scary. So we already know that the water jet can spin things up to crazy speeds but what we don't know is how much force is really behind that. It's only a gallon a minute of water coming out of that nozzle and so it can spin those light lightweight things up pretty quick and those are balanced they're made to spin they're on ball bearings but what if we try and power like a chainsaw chain with it would it have enough torque and oomph to do it that's what we're hoping to find out today and i say yeah we are going to have a bunch of gears in line so the water jet will be shooting down on this gear rotating all of these and then the chainsaw bar will be attached right there with the sprocket, which can be seen in the yellow. That is the chain sprocket, which will be on the back side. That's why they're overlapping. What have we created? First things first, I know the bar is upside down, so don't leave a comment about that, or do, I don't care. And uh, here we've got a bunch of gears, so we can have the water jet head nice and far away from the death that's over there. Water jet will spin this gear, which will then spin all the gears, which then goes through that drive shaft to a chainsaw sprocket that we made on the bar. There's some spots that are a little stiff. We're hoping the oil will fix that. Speaking of things that are stiff, it's time to loosen things up and hear a word from our sponsor. Raycon was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like J.R. Smith, Mitchell from the Waterjet channel, and Snoop Dizzle are obsessed with Raycons. For Rizzle? You bet I'm for Rizzle, but what makes Raycons so good? These are the E25s and I've been using them every day for probably about two months. Uh, I love the battery life. Uh, they last forever. I put them back in the case. It, it charges them up for me. Uh, it connects to my phone seamlessly. They sound great in my ears. They feel great. Uh, awesome headphones. The only problem I have had with my Raycons is my wife likes them so much, she keeps stealing them from me. So I actually bought her own pair of Raycons and now we are experiencing the most mind-blowing, amazing marital bliss we've ever experienced before. Save 15% on your order of Raycons by clicking the link in the description or going to buyraycon.com forward slash water jet. Don't do the backslash. There's only one way to know if this works. The water jet just doesn't have enough power to push that one down and get it started. But if it had a kickstart, maybe it would. Or something like that to get it enough. You know, it's been several times, maybe that'll help get enough momentum, keep it going. Keep itself going. Also, the board's here to reduce the garnet splashback, so that was clogging up the gears. If this doesn't work, then I think we just got to remove some of these gears to get less friction and we have to bring the water jet head dangerously close to that monstrosity. To flinging death. <laughs> Oh, 
On a scale of one to ten, how how afrighted were you? I have the shield on, so zero afrighted. <laughs> what happened is as soon as that board touched it, we had two gears pop off of their bearings. Which that kind of sucks. I don't know if there's gonna be a way to avoid that though. Um what damage did it do to the board? Oh, it's huge damage. See that, Nick? <laughs> as soon as the first tooth touched the board, that's when it just stalled. <laughs> so we've taken all the gears off and we're just gonna come in on the front of this one right here, which is connected to the uh, solid drive shaft that goes all the way through. And we're thinking that maybe we could cut a board with that. We actually cut a two by four and a half using a water jet powered chainsaw. No need to cut just a two by four and show us how <laughs> quicker it is. <laughs> how much more efficient it is with just uh, water power. I'm, I'm just surprised that that actually worked. Show us what you did there. Here I've drawn a perfect likeness of you, Dan, on the water jet. There's your smile, uh, your nose, your eyes, and your hair. Or lack thereof. Um, this was before. It's spinning really free right now, though. We just It just needed a, a break-in period. Isn't that a thing on chainsaws? It is now. Well, so that answers the question that nobody was asking. Can a water jet power a chainsaw? This is a new series called Water Jet Powering Things. What should we power next? <laughs>